So, I love junk removal, but one thing I love more is being a dad. So, we're using this power smokeless grill that I actually got on a job to make some delicious French toast for the kids this morning. So, yeah, check that out. The nice brown crisp, nice edges to it. That's where it's at. So, my kids love French toast. So, yeah, we're getting our day started right, getting some breakfast in before the wife comes home. All right, so we're just getting our day started. Uh, got started a little bit later than I wanted to. Uh, my wife had to work, so I had to make me duty. Uh, but uh, it's about 2.30, I almost three, we're going to the landfill. I had a load from yesterday uh, that I picked up. Uh, I might have dropped that video, I don't know. I'll leave a link in the description below, but check that out, because uh, I found some interesting things on that job. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that off at the landfill, and then uh, we got, Two quotes. Well, one's kind of a job, but the other one's a quote. Uh, one's up in Unicoi, the other one's up in Johnson City. So, we got a little bit of driving to do, but not too bad. So, it's hot out today, man. My legs are burning on this in the sun over here. Um, but, yeah, we had also another job or a potential job. A customer sent me a bunch of demo material. He was, re, uh, he was redoing his backyard uh, decking and needed the old deck hauled away. So, it was a lot, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a picture up here or up here somewhere. It was a lot of decking, and uh, I told him I'd try to stop by later on today to take a look at it in person because demolition jobs uh, it's hard to quote just with pictures because you never know really how big those jobs are until you see them in person. So uh, he ended up texting me back saying he's no longer working there. So I don't know what happened. Maybe he got fired. Maybe he quit. Maybe found somebody else who knows so well, that's okay I wouldn't have been able to do all these jobs today so that leaves us with the two other jobs we're gonna go to but first let's go ahead and drop this demo material off so that's where we usually dump down there but I don't know they got us going in this new way so maybe they're doing a little remodeling I don't know what they're doing but uh, looks pretty empty, wide open area. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this dropped off. Get about this our day. Let's see how much we weighed. We were at 85.20 going in. We came out at 75.80 for a total net weight of 940 pounds. So we only paid $20, but apparently, from what the guy just told me, our rates are going to be increased on Monday over here in Kingsport. The minimum is going to be $30. Uh, it's usually for like half a ton. And then it goes up to $60 for one ton. And those are the new rates. Last year they raised them about $2. Up from $40 to uh, 42 per ton. So this year they're raising up the minimum to, it looks like for half a ton, that $30 way up to 60 for one ton so oh well could be worse i know some of you guys out there in other states you guys have it a lot higher than we do so overall can't complain uh but man it's hot out here today i don't know why i left home in the comfort of my ac second guessing these decisions no i'm just kidding that doesn't uh, anytime i can get out and work i always do it when i like to work so yeah, we're gonna stop at McDonald's, get a drink, cause like I said, it's hot, man. No AC in here, and then it's all into our two jobs. So catch you guys in a little bit. So I forgot to record the last job, but here we are at the second one. And when I spoke to this customer on the phone, she said that she just had some furniture in a metal building and I wasn't too sure how much there was and it was a far distance this drive I tried to get her to send me pictures but she said just to stop by but this definitely caught me off guard yeah this is a lot of uh, furniture big heavy bulky items it looks like and there's a little freezer over there over there okay that one yeah over here So that was a big job. You saw the size of that warehouse and how much stuff they had in there. Let me know in the comments how much would you guys have charged to haul all that junk away. I gave her my price. Um, I don't think she'll call it back, but 
hey, you can't do this stuff for cheap. It requires a lot of work, a lot of dumpsters, and she needs it done in two days. But uh, I didn't get the last job either because uh, I said he wanted a dumpster. So we kind of struck out today. Well, not completely. Look what I scored. I scored a pallet. Jack, yes, sir. Now, I wasn't leaving there empty-handed. I asked the customer if she'd sell us this pallet jack. She said 150. I looked at her. She said 100. I said, how about 50? And all I had in my wallet was $40. So we got it for 40 bucks.